call George Fouts to be followed by Ian McKee. <clears throat> Presiding officer, can I too congratulate the Scottish Conservatives on choosing this subject, on Ted Brackle Brocklebank on a very well-informed introduction. Uh, and as Ted said, there has been a revolution in media in the last few years in particular, with digital, with internet, and with mobile phones, and the convergence of the three. Uh, the whole argument, the whole discussion has changed. And just as the debate on the Scottish Six, if you recall it, uh, is as irrelevant now as telegrams, for example, uh, then uh, I would also wonder, and I say quite seriously, if discussion of a purely Scottish network is also out of date and, if I may say so, rather parochial. I've read the, the uh, Broadcasting Commission report carefully, and I must say I find it disappointing. We hear, hear very little of substance of the programmes, of the ideas, uh, of the schedules that this Scottish network would consist uh, of. All we get are generalities. Now, if Scottish producers make good programmes, and they do, Rebus, a whole range of others, they should be seen all over the UK and indeed abroad just as well as in Scotland. What do we in Scotland want to see that others don't want to see? That needs to be spelled out. And I have my doubts, except, of course, when the debate centres on news and current affairs. And I can understand that. We got the letter from the NUJ today wanting to keep up the quality of BBC uh, Scotland. I must say, presiding officer, I wonder where they've been. That quality is pretty poor at the moment. I actually agree with Ian McWhorter in his uh, uh, comments to the uh, Commission on that. If you look and just take a few examples, listen in the morning, switch from Good Morning Scotland and that awful parochial kale yard stuff, and then to the Today programme with erudite people incidentally, who went to Keith Grammar School, like Jim Nochte. Uh, no, no, Jim Nochte appearing. Or look, or look also, in the evening, a drive time with Abir McIntyre whining away. Or turn, I tell you, t turn on your radio to switch it over uh, to Radio 4, and you hear the mellifluous wit and wisdom of Scotsman Eddie Mayer, who has... Now, I ask you, would, would, anything, would anything that is being proposed by the Scottish Broadcasting Network, would that bring these, pre, these presenters, these excellent presenters, back up to Scotland? I doubt it. I, and, I must, I, no, no, and I must say, I, I came to the most astonishing example yesterday. I don't know if any of you were watching Reporting Scotland when Jackie Bird was talking about five presenters who had their uh, limited medical information disclosed by a doctor in Fife. One minute. We almost had Jackie Bird interviewing Jackie Bird about this uh, astonishingly uh, parochial uh, thing. So I'm, I, I must say I do find it uh, not a convincing argument. However, can I say finally, on, on a note of consensus, I do share very, very strongly concerns about the future of Scottish television, particularly with worries about SMG's uh, financial situation. I, I've seen programmes on the ITV network. I've spoken to people south of the border about what's happened when local uh, uh, networks, local uh, commercial stations have been taken over by ITV, the, the network, the centre in Plymouth being closed down, local news and current affairs coverage uh, getting less and less. So I think if anything comes out of this debate today, I hope it will be a unified agreement to fight this and to try and protect STV from being swallowed up by the ITV National Network. Thank you. I call Ian McKee to be followed by David Whitton.